my application is integrated to the ngrok edge and every time I head over to my app and try to access this from the ngrok ingress I get the circuit breaker, the compression, the OAuth integration from ngrok when my traffic comes through the edge it gets authenticated and it reaches my application only after all the middleware rules are fulfilled but I want to log this traffic in my Datadog. Thanks to the ngrok integration with Datadog logs, now I can do that. To do so, in my Datadog, I hit go to and I can create an API key. And this key will be used by ngrok to send all the events that happen with the ngrok traffic to my Datadog. I'm going to copy this value alongside identifying in which place or which site my Datadog is residing, which is US5. Back to ngrok here, I can go to events and from here I can create a new subscription pointing at Datadog as a destination. Select here, select my respective site, US5, and paste my key alongside identifying fields so I know this event is coming from ngrok to Datadog. I'm going to enter the service name ngrok Fred. I can select tags. For example, I could say this is the environment production and I can even add a description that will be logged here uh, so I can easily refer to my Datadog configuration from ngrok, so Datadog test. To make sure everything is alright, I can hit a test event. So it sends a test event to Datadog. Let's see if that gets logged in here. If I go to logs like tail see oh this is really live so let me send it over again done and after a few seconds yes i see my event here now ngrok knows of datadog it's integrated but the next step is to select which events i want to send over from ngrok to datadog ngrok provides a rich set of functionalities here so i send only the events that i want i could send for example traffic at layer 4 if I wanted to do TCP events but because my application is HTTP I'm gonna send an HTTP request completed so this is a layer 7 event here but even more interesting than that is that even within the log body I can select exactly the information that I want to send so here let's say I'm using authentication right so I want to know the OAuth decision the information from there uh, I'm using circuit breaking, so I want to know the circuit breaking decision. Uh, I'm also using compression, so I want to see how many bytes I saved on that. Uh, I could select more things, but to get the gist, I can select over 33 different characteristics to log around my traffic and request. Also, I can filter that request. So for example, I could select only events that matches my URL or matches a certain user or a certain trait. Now that I selected all these events, let me save this. Oops, let me provide a name to this actually. Datadog, that should be enough. Okay, sweet. Now I can test my traffic. So let's go back to my edge. I'm already authenticated, so it will likely not prompt me for login. And it gets me directly here. If I take a look here, now I see my request completed. And all the information I decided to log from ngrok, now it's showing up here. The OAuth decision, the connection, the compression, the circuit breaker that I used. So if I wanted to change this in the future, of course I can do this too. So this is how the integration between ngrok traffic and data log works. Data dog works. Thank you.